do. They are my favorite, favorite, favorite food. So, what's up, everybody? Today, we are driving again to our way to Los Lobos, Los Lobos in London, Ontario, to do a big taco challenge. So this is going to be a 20 taco challenge of Mexican street tacos. So we're talking corn and tortillas. Love corn tortillas. We have a variety of flavors, so we'll uh, figure out our flavors to comprise our 20 tacos. Essentially, it's going to be 20 tacos, 20 minutes. So it sounds not too bad. Hopefully, we'll be all right. I am planning to do another challenge before it. So this is going to be a second challenge. So this is probably going to kick my butt. It's going to be incredibly difficult. So under normal circumstances, while 20 tacos may not seem too, too, too crazy, trust me, when I say that, I mean by my standards. The average individual cannot eat 20 tacos. This is going to be insane because if we can do this after the freaking other challenge, it's going to be ridiculous. So let's tune on in. Let's see what we can do. Wish me luck. Go eat some animals and let's have some fun. All right, everyone, here we are with all of the tacos. So definitely a large amount of tacos, specifically 20, 20 tacos, 20 Mexican street tacos. So we have five of their cauliflower, which is like a, uh, a deep fried cauliflower and like a chili uh, kind of powder, which sounds really cool. We then have their chicken, their well-known chicken. We have the pork belly, um, which is a deep fried pork belly. Uh, so it should be nice and crispy, savory. And then we have their carnitas, which I know is very delicious. So basically 20 tacos. Let's see if we can do this. I'm, uh, I just did a challenge, so I'm quite full, but it should be a lot of fun. Um, it smells good. So ultimately, I'm not sure where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try one of each and then go from there. So how we start, we'll say the count of five. Oh, I don't know the timer. Uh, I'll use my, I'll use the camera. Um, we'll say five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mm. Ooh. It's very nicely flavored. I do love the taco. There's a corn right here. Both the pork belly and the chicken are tasting really good. Mm. That pasta is good too. Very cheesy. Very flavorful as well. It has like a pineapple salsa on it. Alright. Four down. Lots to go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Los Lobos in London, Ontario. So London, Ontario is in Western Ontario, um, kind of on your way towards, uh, in between like let's say Windsor, um, aka the Detroit, Michigan border, and Toronto. Um, so here we are doing a uh, specially made uh, taco challenge. So what it was is it was uh, 20 tacos, 20 minutes. So how this came about is I was here um, doing a nacho challenge. And in doing this big nacho challenge, this is a big, great big nacho platter that they have had for a long time and no one was ever able to complete. Um, if I was going to complete that, then they were going to hook me up with a taco challenge of such of this nature. So here we are. So here we had a, a variety of their different tacos, um, as I mentioned. And so I decided to kind of try, um, you know, one of each and then kind of move into um, getting them done. So really cool flavors. They definitely had some very interesting um, tacos. Um, one being like the pork belly. Pork belly tacos. Pretty uh, 
uh, untraditional in my in my uh, experience. But that being said, it was really good. They uh, kind of cure the pork belly there. Then I think it's like fried, kind of give it a nice crisp. Um, so it definitely had a nice bit of flavor to it. Um, all the tacos, th at least these ones being served on the corn tortillas, I definitely really liked the tortillas. They were absolutely delicious. Um, they made a lot of like different aiolis and a lot of the actual ingredients um, in-house, which is also super cool. Uh, just really great flavors. Um, and in each of these tacos, you could tell that they really were going for a unique flavor profile, a unique combination of flavors, um, and definitely were shying away from anything that was just, let's say, overly, uh, overly conventional. Um, we also had things like the cauliflower tacos and the chicken tacos, um, all of which were very, very nice. The chicken was very, very juicy, um, which I think like when you're having a chicken taco, that's probably the biggest area of concern. And so to have these nice juicy tacos is definitely a good treat. Um, as I tried the cauliflower one, the cauliflower one was very interesting. In fact, this was definitely the first cauliflower taco I've ever, ever, ever had. Thirteen left. Ooh, I tell you guys, I'm filling up. <clears throat> Hard to do challenges back to back. The way I would describe a cauliflower taco, uh, at least these ones, was it was very like, well definitely the, f the flavors you were getting on the forefront was cheese. They definitely had a cheese sauce on it, so you definitely got that uh, really kind of cheesy nature. But the cauliflower had a, although it was, it was fried, giving it a really like nice texture. I wouldn't say it was exactly comparable to some kind of a meat, but you kind of had like a little slightly crispier outside than like the softer parts of the stems, uh, which was pretty cool. There was a bit of a like chili seed seasoning on it as well. So kind of overall, um, you know, a really nice uh, flavorful bite, um, you know, and although it being a little different and obviously being a cauliflower taco. So as I mentioned, this was the second challenge I did. In fact, I literally basically didn't even leave uh, the seat at all. And in doing two challenges back to back, it's very difficult. It's not as easy as doing one challenge um, and then doing one the next day because you're already full. You're already so full of food. And so it's honestly, I guess, more comparable to doing a very, very, very large challenge. The more you eat, the slower you end up eating. It's uh, not linear. Show the Diet Coke. Ugh. <coughs> Six minutes, 17, 18 seconds. A lot of you on YouTube here often ask me to push myself. And so doing two challenges back to back, um, at least attempting to back to back, is one way of definitely pushing myself. Um, the more you eat, the more difficult it is. Eating is not linear. Let's say you could eat five tacos in five minutes. You're very unlikely to be able to eat an additional five more in the next five minutes. It'll probably take you like eight minutes or 10 minutes. Right, so after attempting this first, the first challenge I did, um, which was a big nacho challenge, which I will uh, link down below if you want to check that out after this video. Um, hopefully I got through that one there. Um, then to do this one is just like, I'm basically making, I guess, a, either you could call it a huge two-part food challenge, or um, again, doing the two back to back, which is, it's very difficult. It is a lot more difficult to do. So while this 20 tacos may not seem like the biggest challenge I've done, you have to realize that it's coming after having pounds and pounds and pounds of nachos in me. So it's very, very difficult. Um, and it's in moments like this where it's a lot of uh, mental capacity you have to put forth into it. It's a lot of exertion. Uh, it's a lot of, um, let's say, uh, not just physically, like you're feeling full, but physical and mental, um, let's say, motivation, pushing yourself uh, to actually be able to do something like this. 12 down, 8 to go. <clears throat> It's getting more difficult. I'll give it that. I 
I shut up the I eat animals hat. Because I do. I love animals. Favorite food. You can get your in my store, either released or soon to be released. Info down below. So you can definitely see it in my face and my mannerisms, uh, just kind of the difficulty of doing the two challenges back to back. But I will say the deliciousness of these tacos definitely made it um, a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable. The flavors on these, like I said, were really, really good. And I really enjoyed the flavors of these tacos. Uh, and I would definitely recommend them, in fact. Um, but overall, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. So like I said, a uh, very difficult challenge as we were doing two back to back, um, although they were very delicious items. And ultimately, like I said, for this challenge that they created for me, it was 20 minutes for 20 tacos. So we're definitely running out of time. We don't have a surplus there. So ultimately, let's tune on in, see what happens. And with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. and a half minutes in. Ooh. Getting through it. Definitely some delicious flavors. Let's lot. And last but not least, the carnitas. Last one. Ooh. We are done. Oh my gosh. 17 and a half minutes. 
definitely a lot of food. It's hard to do a second challenge, I have to do a first challenge, but I just made it, just skinned under that time limit, so I'm really glad we were able to do that. But yeah, overall, very delicious, no complaints. The, uh, the carnitas are super rich, really nice tasting pork, really like those tacos. Um, out of the, I, I don't know if I could really necessarily pick a flavor, favorite, they're all very, very different. Cauliflower, you're getting lots of cheese. Um, the, the fried cauliflower actually gives a really nice texture as well. Uh, the chicken was really, really good, very moist, very juicy. Um, same as that pork belly, the pork belly was like really, actually very, very good, I have to give that. So I want huge thanks to Los Lobos here. Um, really nice place, the staff have been very friendly. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So overall, finished the challenge, got the tacos, and that's about that. So everybody, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. Ooh, like I said, a lot of food, a lot of food. Definitely would recommend trying the tacos. Maybe I had to get 20 of them, but you know what I'm saying. So everybody, until next time, have them, you're happy. You know, hope you enjoyed. That's about it. You know, just have yourself a lovely day. That's it. Enjoy. Hopefully it's sunny where you are. And I have no other words. Thank you. Until next time. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day